Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, you guys, peep game. All right, man. I find this very hilarious that the NFL players, like I say, they now then grown a pulse and they then started to call out the NFL and say, hey, stop trying to muzzle us. Let us speak our mind. Let us speak our peace when it comes to certain issues. Well, you know, the NFL for years, they were about they they bottom line, which was protecting the so-called shield or protecting white dollars. They forgot that we contribute to the NFL, too. They forgot that we bought the tickets and we gave them the ratings as well. So now all of a sudden you got these newfound NFL players saying, hey, that could have been me. That could have been me. Well, you know what? They talked about they condemn how they treated Colin Kaepernick. But where was they at four years ago? They had the power back then. They could have said, well, you know what? Since Colin Kaepernick has been ostracized out the league, we will not play a game until Colin Kaepernick finds a job. They had the power. See, at the end of the day, they were more worried about the white fans than they was the black fans. And since a lot of the black fans turned away from the NFL and started doing other things instead of giving the NFL their ratings every Sunday, the ratings have went down and they don't want to admit it. So now, all of a sudden, Roger Goodell is like, well... We shouldn't let our players not speak about racism and different things. And then you had these insensitive ass white fucks saying, well, I just want to be entertained. Well, you know what? If something is going on with the players and particularly in the community of the players who happen to be, well, 60, 60 percent of the league who happen to be black, you need to listen. But at the end of the day, white people so selfish and don't give a fuck about nobody but their bottom line and they selves. So it's understandable because none of them really was a victim of racism of no sort. Not in the United States. They can initiate racism. They may be part of some kind of bigotry. But at the end of the day, white people have not been, you know, victims of racism. And that's complete bullshit. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day. You just got to call the shit right down the middle. And that's the problem. A lot of people don't want to call the shit right down the middle. And actually, it ain't right down the middle. Uh, it's, it's, it's not been equal. Probably won't ever be equal. But they can make it better. And they don't want to. So, as far as the NFL players go, y'all should have been doing this. It shouldn't have took George Floyd for y'all to realize, you know what? I'm black. I can't be silent anymore. But like I said, the NFL, they look horrible in this situation. Roger Goodell looks horrible. Well, he's looked horrible for a while. How they handled this whole Colin Kaepernick situation. They shouldn't have tried to ostracize the man out the league. And like I said before, they need to come clean and admit that they tried to purposely keep Colin Kaepernick out the league. Talked about, oh, well, we realized we made a mistake. Motherfucker, please stop it. But nevertheless... That's all I have to say. This your boy Town Biz. I'm out.